Welcome to Exploring Computing. Today's video is Computer Security Practical Measures. So in this video, we're going to talk about th some things that you can specifically do to keep yourself safe online. There is going to be a little bit of overlap in this video with the previous videos, but I did want to put all the practical suggestions all in one place. I'm going to be going through this pretty quickly. So, you know, if you've got questions, definitely go back and check on uh, our more extensive discussions on these different mechanisms uh, earlier in, in the quarter. All right, so we've seen a bunch of pretty scary ways our computers can get attacked. And so what can we do to protect ourselves? All right, so the number one thing is definitely keep your software updated. It's super simple, pretty straightforward. And remember that many attacks are based on pre-existing ways of attacking your computer. So. Um, there's lots of different tools out there that people can just pick up off the shelf and use it to uh, to attack a computer. And so if your software is updated, you will be protected against all the attacks except for the zero day exploits. It's far more likely that you will be attacked using something that already exists and is known about than uh, the things that we don't know about. All right. Um, Definitely think about these password recommendations when you are creating passwords. First of all, use different passwords for different accounts. Remember, if you're just creating an account on a random website, you don't know who that person is. And second, even if that person's a, you know, a good hearted person, they may not have good security practices and your password information may leak. So um, definitely different passwords for different accounts. Be super careful with your email password and of course, any of your financial uh, passwords. Um, use a good length password. The longer the password is, the harder it's going to be to break. Use uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and punctuation. Um, consider using a passphrase instead of a password, but remember for maximum effectiveness, a passphrase needs to contain just a random sequence of words, not some sort of a phrase not some sort of a, a sports team cheer, uh, preferably not even something that makes sense in the English language, just a bunch of random words crammed together. Um, also consider using a password manager. Use multi-factor authentication when available. Uh, if possible, choose the authenticator option, uh, either a cell phone app or a physical authenticator. Either of those is preferable to receiving text messages. Uh, the text message system is not secure, but uh, using a text message based two-factor authentication is still way better than not having two-factor authentication. Watch out for phishing. Don't click on links and email messages. Uh, remember the email system is completely insecure, uh, that it's trivially easy to create a pixel by pixel exact reproduction of a website. So just because it looks exactly like your bank's website doesn't mean it's your bank's website and that it's super easy to spoof the email system and pretend to be something that someone you aren't. Um, instead of clicking on the link, go directly to the main website, uh, type it in yourself, don't copy uh, it from the email message, don't copy anything from the email message, uh, or call the company directly by phone. Um, if you're in a sensitive position and particularly concerned about security, don't forget about spear phishing. Um, that was a type of phishing where the attacker studied who you are and figured out what sort of emails you should receive and then crafted an email specifically designed to get you to open it. Um, use anti-malware software. Um, the operating systems have gotten a bit better with having good anti-malware software built in. So Windows Defender is actually considered pretty decent, but you can get free anti-malware software from Stanford. If you go to ess.stanford.edu, that's short for essential Stanford software, um, and you can get free software there. Uh, for maximum security, you can consider blocking JavaScript. Um, this will make browsing the web a bit more annoying, but uh, it will enhance your security. All right, that's it for our security lectures. I will talk to you all soon.